Hi, I'm Brad Leinberger, president of Seaside Wealth Management. Well, last week, the Federal Reserve increased interest rates by 75 basis points. That's the third time this year that they've done so. And the markets reacted by being pretty volatile last week. I wanted to take some time and unpack that a little bit for you. Let me remind you, we've been here before. Back in 1981, Federal Reserve Chairman Paul Volcker did the same thing. He kept increasing interest rates to fight off inflation, which was in the double digits at that point in time. Yes, we went into a recession in 1981, but starting in 1982, the U.S. stock market tripled in value from 1982 to 1987. Now, history is not guaranteed to repeat itself at all, but just pointing out that we have been here before, and as soon as we work through this, the market is going to respond nicely. Now, let's unpack this a little further. So right now, interest rates are going up. We know that. And they need to because inflation is at a 40-year high. At the end of the day, what the Federal Reserve is doing is going to be a good thing because high inflation is far worse than rising interest rates. I've included a, a little chart with this email that shows that when interest rates are rising, the stock market still has performed relatively well at 9.7% per year. However, when inflation is running hot, that's when the stock market doesn't perform as well, only 5.5% per year. So at the end of the day, the Federal Reserve is really trying to get a hold of this, and that's their job. They remain steadfast and committed to keeping inflation under control, and it's a good thing. There are some other positives that are coming out of this as well. The 10-year Treasury, the yield on it, is now 4%. We haven't seen that in over a decade. Banks are finally increasing interest rates on savings accounts and CDs as well. So savers can finally start to earn some money uh, to, to finally get a yield on your capital. At the end of the day, these are good things. So while it's not fun to go through market volatility and the uncertainty and the barrage of negativity, we know that at the end of the day, this is going to be the right thing and, and good things will result. So how much longer is this going to last? Well, we're about nine to 11 months into the current bear market, depending on which index you track. So we're nine to 11 months in. And on average of the 15 bear markets since World War II, um, the average lasts about 13 months. So we could be, th there could be a little bit more time to go, but we're, we're further along potentially. Um, you know, at, at some point this is going to end. So uh, while we can never call the bottom and trying to time the market is not uh, a good investment philosophy, we do know that it's been a long year and there's probably gonna be some more volatility ahead but once we work through this, there will be sunnier skies on the other side. If you have questions or concerns or simply want to talk about it, do not hesitate to reach out. I'm happy to help you.